Hey everybody, it's Sam here and I finally got my hands on the November Papercraft Society box. So I know this is very late and I know all of the people that are subscribed to the Papercraft Society have already got this, plus December's and I think January's would probably be landing soon as well. Um, I'm on the design team for Craft Stash, so sometimes we get them, sometimes we don't and I chase these ones and I was like, I really want them because I was a subscriber before I joined the design team and these boxes I just think are wonderful and I really enjoy them. So so I would like to keep a catalogue of the unboxings on my channel so I thought I would still do this and I actually looked on the website before I've started to film and this is still available because you can buy them they kind of go into open stock after they've gone out to the subscribers so anything they've got left it's a beautiful box I was lucky enough to do some of the inspiration in the booklet in this one so I'll show you some of that in a moment and for anybody that's new to the Papercraft Society or new to my channel these are a monthly subscription box and each month they're different it's a different designer and you can dip in and out you can just pay month to month and you can cancel it at any time or you can choose a three month subscription a six month you, I don't know if there's nine months, I think it's then a year. It's all different ones and I'll link all of that in the description box along with the link to this one as well. So whenever you receive the boxes, the outer design is always an indication of the papers that will be inside and the kind of palette and tones that you're gonna get. So this one here, you can see it's got like a gold foiling and then it's got all these lovely watercolored flowers. You've got like a wood grain background there. So let's have a look. So this one here is by Lou Collins and it says I love that I can combine my two favourite hobbies hand lettering and paper crafting to make beautiful personalised projects. So inside we have our envelope and we also have the tissue paper. I did check all this just to make sure that everything was there before I went live and I kind of already know what's in this anyway because like I said I have done the inspo for it. So we'll do the tissue in a moment. Let's have a look in the envelope. This is how I like to keep mine stored. I actually flat pack the boxes and I use them or well, most of the boxes from the last ones have been um, used to wrap Christmas presents because they're really pretty. You can put like a sticker over here and then I put some matching ribbon around and they look really nice under the tree. So that's one way to use them but there's also I think Christina Griffiths has just not long done a video on how to upcycle these boxes so that could be something that you know you might be interested in but I like to take all the contents out. I can fit most of it in this envelope and any ink cubes and mediums and things like that I put in with the rest of my stuff. So we have here, you get three pockets and it says, um, don't forget to share your makes with us, hashtag Papercraft Society. And you've got leave a little sparkle wherever you go. I'm crafting, there are no mistakes, just unique creations. And this one says creativity is as much about enjoying the process as it is about finishing, um, as it is about the finished project. So if I just turn over one of the papers here, so these are the dies. So in this one here, you've got these tags. You've got a set of one, two, three, even that oval one with the circles. You've got, you've got four gift tags there. And then you have this big die, which will create, if you double it up, it creates a wreath. So it's a really nice effect. And then you'll see here the only Christmas related one is this one in the corner, which is snowflakes, but it's not really Christmas. I mean, that's we're going into our coldest months in the, in the UK. So, you know, these would be nice to use on some of your winter themed cards. You can see there the snowflakes and these will all cut into the card stock. So you can have some really nice decorative corners on your paper craft designs. So those are the dies. You've also got some like leaves here and these will cut different sprigs. This one will cut out the sentiments, which is for you, I believe. And then this is another one which will cut some sprigs. And then you've got hearts, stars, smaller stars there. And this will die cut a flower as well. So that's your dies. And then these are the papers. I already went and um, removed the clear pockets just you know to reduce the glare in the video. So here is the pattern paper so you've got this one here which has got that gorgeous this is like a geode effect this one it's kind of like it's like a watercolor background and then almost like a gold paint flicked on top as well so it's really nice so you've got two of that one you've got this one here which is beautiful you can see that on the front of like a little notebook or something or like a maybe a mini album or something really nice but it equally as nice on a card you know and you could stamp your sentiment there so you get two of that one and then that's the wood grain that's on the front of the box. Really nice, do love that wood grain effect. And then you've got this one here, which again, I guess is that slight nod to Christmas, but certainly something that would look nice on some winter cards going into January and February. 
and um, or get ahead of yourself and start making some more Christmas cards for next year or some last minute cards if you've still got some to do this year but those are your papers so it's a really nice mix there and I think they're very pretty and then you've got these beautiful um, kind of cutter parts here and I'll just pop that one back in there but there we go you can see so these will all just pop out you've got a little bit of a gold foiling going through some of them you can just see it picking up there and um, really nice again love the brush lettering I'm imagining Lou has these are her own scripts I, I that's what she does so I'm, I'm guessing that she's done these and um, they look really really nice love this one here as well you've got that gorgeous one so that's everything in that pocket and then you finish off with the stamps so again I'll just take one of these papers so you can see them better so here you've got this beautiful wreath which is what that die will cut out but again you do two of them and join them up it's lovely and I just like that it's all just green leaves and then you can add these flowers into it here you can see some snowflakes that you've got there and there I like this sprig one here because you can colour the little buds on that one and then you've got sparkle for you which you also have the dies for you've got made with love and then you've got this lovely wood grain panel and then you've got this one here as well and there's the die for that flower I like that one actually that's more of like a buttercup see that in, in like a nice yellow color kind of you know mixed in with the wreath I think would look really nice and I love this spray of dots I think that's really really nice so that's all the stamps that you get there okay so this is everything in the tissue and this is a fest for the paper craft society and um, and that's doing one of these ink bottles and you've got your I'm going to be very careful with this because it's a heavily pigmented it's just neat blue ink you can see there you've got your little pipette so you can easily decant it you know out of this and onto your media mats your different palettes however it is you want to use it but it's a lovely it's this color here at its most concentrated and then obviously once you start adding water you can start to get these lighter um, tones but it's you know it's really nice to have that and it's glass this will last you a long time and I'm, I'm hoping I mean I, I've actually been again if you're new to this I've designed the box number 10 back in the summer it's nice seeing what other designers add to the boxes because then it makes you think oh I didn't think we could you know it's nice to know that we can get things like this so it certainly makes me think about future boxes I've already designed my next one and that's coming out you haven't got too long to wait for that one now um, but certainly for the ones that I've been asked to do again things like this makes me just you know it gives me a little bit more inspiration so then we've got some baker's twine here and you can dye this with this ink here as well so you know you don't just have to keep it that color and that goes for you know you might already have some other inks or some dyes you know your actual ink pads rub them over and you can color your twines and then you get just the one ink cube because obviously they're giving you this because um, usually you either get three ink cubes sometimes you get two it depends on if that person's maybe then done two stamp sets they might have done more stencils so it, it does vary from pack to pack but um, this one you've got the grey and then you get this fine liner it doesn't actually give me any info so I can't tell you what size but you can just see that one there and then you get a paintbrush which has got a very um, nice point on it so you can get some nice detail with that you get a sequin mix of those gold sequins you always get an information card and this one says I'm an artist I make mistakes look beautiful and on the back it's watercolouring with inks so you've got a wet on wet technique a wet on dry technique thirsty brush I've never heard of that one so I'll be interested to read through this layering watering down and fixing mistakes so that's going to come in useful if this is all something new and then you've got this gorgeous really rich like yellow gold really nice there's the lovely Lou and then you also get your card stocks so it's always a white core card stock so you can actually do a lot more with a white core when it comes to techniques and then I'm just going to just slide that off so you get this lovely turquoise again you get two of each colour and you get that rich like cobalt blue and then you get a grey and then here is two sheets of watercolour card and they're nice and thick and although they aren't a cold press they do have quite a smooth side on one side and then you have your natural kind of watercolour grain on the other side so you could stamp on that smoother side and get a nice 
impression. Um, but again, get lots of card there to play with. And then again, just for anybody that's new, this is your inspiration booklet that you get. It always has the designer on the front. You have an interview with a designer, kind of like Q&A on why they've chosen to do this kind of theme. And then you'll get your inspiration. I'll just go to a card that Lou's done here just to give you an idea on how you can start using all of the pieces in your kit. And that's just one of the cards there that Lou's done. So she's combined the tag with that wreath. You've got the wood grain paper, you've got that snowflake paper in the background. And then she shows you how to do some effects there. And the lovely Linda, she's done more of a clean card here using that wreath. You can see they're layering it up, how nice that looks. But that, you know, add those yellow flowers in. You've got a really nice spring card there. Use some of the card stocks in your stash. You know, and then she's um, die cut all those snowflakes there on the bottom. And then I'll just give you an example of, I was asked to do gift tags and some cards. So I always like to keep, oh, there's, there's the cards that I, I done. So again, I've done the wreath and then I stamped a lot of the flowers and all the sprigs and kind of done a, a little kind of cluster to the left there. And then I stamped, done a repeat stamp really of the, the wood grain on the blue um, cardstock there. This one's using all the pop-out pieces. There's like a big kind of cluster, all kind of cascading down there. And I wrap the twine and some of the gold card around the top there. And there I've just inked and splattered some of the ink. And that's what I've done here. This is the watercolour paper. And I just basically threw it on there and then just kind of moved it around with my heat tool until I got a nice kind of background that I was happy with. And I just dug out lots of stars and sequins and kind of done a bit of a kind of like a whoosh of uh, a whoosh a whoosh of uh, <laughs> sparkle there and you can see it close up and I was just trying to look for the gift tags that I'd done I thought they came up first so there's a close-up of the cards um, oh there they are just to give you an idea the kind of thing you can make well you see that one there with all the different um, all the, that pattern along the bottom there this one I really like I think that's pretty and then I doubled that one up so you've got the same in the glitter card there so you know there's a lot in this one it's really really nice this is box number 14 I don't think I mentioned that at the beginning I will pop a link to the subscription so you can have a look at those if it's something you want to look at and I will put the direct link to this box as well and I'll be back very soon with some tutorials and I will be using this along with the December box which I will also be doing an unboxing for in my future Facebook lives and going into the new year so I'm looking forward to uh, yeah using this product thanks for watching and I'll be back again soon bye